How to connect Ulink NAND to the Flash? Step 1. Find the proper NAND Flash connection. This is the Linksys EA6400 router. There is a NAND Flash here. I want to be able to use the programmer to program it. And the first thing I found is the pin 1 is on this side. And the orientation of this uh, clip is pin 1 is this way. So what I found is I can flip this one, flip the connector this way, but make the this side upside down. So originally pin 1 is this way, and now the NAND flash pin 1 is here. But if I flip here, then pin 1 on the NAND will be here, and pin 1 this way. This is how I solve it. And click on. In most cases, uh, the clip on the NAND flash is quite easy. You just firmly push it, it will lock it. However, on this particular router, uh, I found the connection is not very robust. The reason for that is there are several capacitors here, very close to the chip, and there it prevents you to press further down because this side is, is blocked. So uh, either you need to remove those capacitors or you want to press, make some pressure here, either use your finger or some weight to make the uh, read robust. And that is, I found, quite challenging on this particular router. Other devices I found not a problem, but this router has some issues here. Step two, decide how to apply the power to the flash. Option one, use the 3.3 volt direct from the U-Link NAND. To make it work, you need to add a line like this in the configuration file. This method is quite easy, but only when the power stays at 3.3 volt. In this case, the flash does get detected, but I found the power draw is too much, like go to 2 point some volt, and I found this is not a good method to use for this router. In this example, I'm first selecting NAND 512 to see if I can detect flash, and in this configuration, I have the give power from the 3.3 volt here. So now I power on. First, I need to hold it, hold steady. And now let's hit detect. I can detect flash, okay? I see I can detect flash. Now let, it, let us measure the voltage. One more time. And, uh, so by the way, when you uh, Make the contact like this, I remove it, I need to power off it. So now let's press down here, make the proper connection. Even on the screen shows 3.3 volt here or 2.9 volt. Let's measure the real voltage on the chip here. It's only 2.1, let's check it again. 2.1 volt. And also the voltage I have measured voltage on this uh, side also 2.0 volt, which means it's not a very good idea and it will make the uh, device this burned. So I'm going to use the second method. Option two, use dedicated 3.3 volt power supply. I'm reselecting target uh, using the EA6400. This configuration does not have the uh, power, give power, so it's just NAND flash. And currently, I am. Let me keep right here. Currently, I am connecting like so, and power on. This shows 3.75 volt, but the detection only detects to 3.02. Let's go up a little bit, and that should be good enough. And let's detect. Yeah, we can properly detect the flash. And then you can do the read and programming. Let's read uh, the flash. See if we got data back. Yes, we do. 
Option three is when option one and option two does not work and we have to use the regular power supply of the device like here, the router, and we can find some pins to disable the power supply to the main CPU and get the proper read connection. This method will be explained in the future video when I find a target that both option one and option two does not work.